Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another weekly spot uh, product spotlight. Uh, this is my third one I've done now, so I'm hoping that you're enjoying them. We don't actually make any cards uh, during this session, but um, we sort of break down and have a look at the products that I will be showing throughout the week, the upcoming week. So hello, if you are catching me, my name is Elisa Tilsner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in South Australia. And this week we are looking at the joy of Christmas sweet which is a mega mega sweet it uh when they span uh, four pages in the catalog you know that it is one of the mega sweets so let's swing the camera around let me just get switched around to the other view and hey there lisa hey there good to see you so we are on page 28 29 30 and 31 so mega I call them a mega suite because they usually comprise of you know two bundles designer series paper a specialty paper embellishments so we're going to take a look at them today and just have a little bit of a breakdown have a look at the colors that coordinate with them um, I do not have two of the items uh, though and they are the embellishments ribbon I tend not to use a whole lot of ribbon um, so actually you know what I think I'm Maybe I do have a little bit of that ribbon. I'm just having a little bit of a, because uh, I did a, a ribbon share. Just bear with me for two seconds. I did, oh, I do have some. Oh my gosh, I can add that to my, I can add that to my card making this week. I am so glad I remembered that. I thought, hang on a minute, I did a ribbon share and I took part in that ribbon share. So I do have some of the ribbon, but I don't have any of the sequins. So, um, I'll show you a photo of that anyway. Okay, so let's get looking at this. What will we look at first? Should we look at the paper, considering I've got it right in front of me? Um, there's so much to look at it. Hey, right, good morning, everyone coming in. Deborah, Fiona, Terry, Margaret. I know, I just go, these little product spotlights, um, I just jump on whenever I have a moment. I've got my washing on, I've uh, stripped the beds, I've done all those things and then I thought, right, I'll just jump online real quickly. So have a look at this. I'll do one page by one page because the paper is actually quite busy, um, the pattern paper, but it's so beautiful. So I will just push the others off to the side so that we don't get confused with our patterns. So have a look at that. I'll just flick through these. So the other sides are really different. Like we've got one side that's really, really Christmassy and then one side that um, I think you could probably use this for any type of card making. You could add this with your florals, um, your manly cards, um, that fishing bundle that's out, you know, the wood grain. If you were camping, anything like that, I reckon that paper would be really lovely. Um, I'll scoot these out of the way so we don't we don't get it's like we senses overload we don't want to overload our senses you know what I'm going to put on the floor because all good things belong on the floor right <laughs> so then we have our shaded spruce check and again another tree feel to it a bark I should say bark feel uh, so and that one is in uh, the other one was in uh, Pebbled Path and this one is in Pecan Pie but we'll go through all the colors um, together afterwards okay another really tight small uh, print pattern print holly leaves and berries which are really pretty. I love the water paint look to them, like to the leaves where they sort of like go from like an ombre through the leaf. I love them. And then we've got music notes. Again, you don't have to use these for Christmas if you didn't want to. So you've got other, other uh, options as well. So if you get stuff, if you get paper left over at the end of the Christmas season, flip it over and use the other side for other cards. So I really like that one too. I love, you know, I love the green leafy colors, old olive shaded spruce. And oh my goodness, have a look at that. Doesn't that just sort of scream like plush velvet or something to you? Makes you just sort of want to dive into it. So that I really love as well. Just so rich, 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 rich. Um, okay, back to more check. I'm not, can I, can tell you I'm not really a fan of check. It's like, a, uh, is it a buffalo check? Is that what you guys call it? See, I don't even know the terminology for these things. It sort of reminds me of the, I'm a jack and I'm all okay. <laughs> Um More music notes with that gorgeous um, texture and colour behind it. Really, really nice. 
Hello. We've got more people coming in. Okay, and then we've got a red, this is sort of, there's not much leafy action going on, but lots of holly berries. It's like the leaves have fallen off the uh, uh, the plant and we've just got our berries left over. And then another gorgeous, I'll try and get that on a bit of, whoop, we've got to focus as well. Camera's having trouble focusing. But the colours in that are really, really pretty. Um, and there is sort of a bit of a, a leafy pattern somewhere in that background that I can see, but it's just, you know, it's just blurred that nicely. That's beautiful, beautiful texture. Uh, and that's it for, for the designer series paper. So that's um, how that one looks. And then this, we also have some specialty paper. Now these are just one sided and uh, these have are in the matching colors and they have gold foil through them so they are super shiny um, just trying to get that so that's like a matte green with gold uh, checks through it and then this one is all super shiny the white in it is matte and the gold is like all foil there we go sort of try and capture that for you so if you're wanting to jazz up your cards a wee bit this one matte on the red and gold on the music notes so again you don't have to use you don't have to actually you don't have to use any of these ones for christmas so far so you could use them for all sorts of cards and then this one is the berries so the holly berries so the the leaves are gold i'm gonna try and try and get a little bit of that there we go the leaves are gold the white and the berries are matte I am live, Wendy. Hello. <laughs> Doing another one of my very quick product uh, spotlights. So let me just pick up these papers again because I want to show you um, the colours that go with them. So lots of colours again, which is actually quite surprising. So we have Pebbled Path, um, which we have on the reverse side. There's not a lot of Pebbled Path in the actual like this one's got a bit of browns in it but it doesn't have the pebble path in it and there isn't really any other paper that has the pebble path in it apart from the reversed side so if you were looking for um you know because there's so many colors if you were looking for two or three i'd perhaps leave that one out i have done some cards with that one and they did look pretty um i used the i used that one with some of the holly and that one did look really pretty but if you're looking to use these big ones then that isn't in there pecan pie is in there it's our pine cones so that one would not well, there you go you can see the pine cones so that one matches the pecan pie um i think that's the only one that's got bits of browns in it apart from the reverse sides again so if you didn't want to have a brownie color in there you could skip that one and then we come to our greens and our reds so we have, for our reds, we have Cherry Cobbler and Real Red. So both of those will work nicely with them. Um, so we've got the depth here. We've got the depth of the, the Cherry Cobbler and then the outside is the red. So they both would work really nicely. If you were going to choose just one, I would probably choose the Real Red to go with it. And then our greens, we have Old Olive and Shaded Spruce. Now, these two colours I wouldn't normally put together in a card. Um, so, again, like, I'll just show the two. So, that one looks quite nice on its own. Mainly the leafy ones, that one will look quite nice with it. But they also look really nice with... The shaded spruce which really really picks up the depth in those couple of colors and of course we have the check so those those ones really pick up so again if you were looking to just have one green i would probably go for the shaded spruce over the like if you were just trying to limit and pull down your supplies that's what i would do and of course white because they are quite busy and quite uh heavy in colors i would definitely pair up a lot of white oh wendy says she's not a fan of shaded spruce come on they look so good with these papers though and the specialty papers um it's got the shaded spruce in it as well they look so pretty though wendy 
I don't need to change your mind about shaded spruce. Pearl, shaded spruce. Okay, so we do, I do have the ribbon. I didn't think that I did, but I do. So there is our ribbon. It is actually vanilla. Okay, so there we go. If you wanted to change it, I always use white because it's nice and crisp. Um, but this has got vanilla in it. So you may want to think about popping perhaps vanilla with your designer series paper instead of white. Um, old Olive has Wendy's heart. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change your mind. I think. So, stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay. And then the other embellishment I've got. Hey, wait! I'm just flicking. Uh, Vicky says she's not a green person, but loves the shade of spruce. Yes, I like it because it's nice and bright. Um, okay. I do have a photo of. This is. Where we go that's the other embellishment that comes with the with the suite which is oh somebody's given me a frowny face that's funny um or maybe it was to one of my comments um now uh so we've got holly leaves music notes and two sizes of sequins okay so they are nice and shiny they come in a tub they're not adhesive backed so you will need a fine tip glue pen um, or your multi pen or something like that to adhere them on um, glue dots you may be able to you may be able to use glue dots for them but they are definitely uh, not adhesive so I didn't get them um, because I've had sequins in the past and I'm just like, giving them a mess okay we have two stamp sets two bundles in this one we'll look at this one first Christmas classics because I did have this one first and I've only just purchased the other one uh, so we've got some really great sentiments lots of sentiments in this one and the dies that match them are amazing as well so they are two lots of dies okay and they are pretty big so we have these really cool frames like this one's just a square one and that will fit any of these sentiments here uh, quite nicely. Christmas will just fit in there and you can put Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas wishes, Christmas holidays, anything like that. And then we have these cute little stamps here and they can actually stamp in the corners of your die cuts and this fits nicely. So what you can do is stamp that one around the edges and then you can stamp this little corner one and that looks quite cool as well i've done that this one here is a mega one and that cuts out like that doesn't cut so just cuts all out here and that remains square on the inside and then this one you can layer on top or you can die cut out the center and turn that one into a frame as well okay and then we've got two big frames over here that layer onto each other as well so that will get your season's greetings done christmas and again you can have merry christmas happy christmas all of that sort of stuff um oh and also i wanted to say that because these two go together this one will actually do your noel over here as well so they mix and match beautifully uh dies to cut out our holly oh, i keep getting that glare holly the berries and the um what's that spriggy things oh, i never know branches it's pine needles that's that's what they are aren't they are they pine needles i think they're pine needles um and then we have some extras that will just die cut foliage and shape so very cool and then we got this other funny thing which sort of just uh die cuts a it's almost like a knitted pearl stitch type thing. Whoops, I'm going to come back to my comments. Oh, they're out of stock in the US. Oh, I hope they come back quick for you. Because these are, you know, if you're looking for a real traditional type of Christmas, then, then this is the way to go. And these ones I've only just got. Uh, I did, I stamped the big one there yesterday and did a couple of, I did a little bit of colouring um, it's always when you want to go and colour something that your blends start to run out of juice and you have to work a little harder with them. Um, so I've only, that's all I've stamped out of these guys so far. Um, they both are both photopolymer. I should let you know that as well. 15, 15 stamps, 13 dies, 12 stamps and 10 dies. I haven't even looked at the dies yet. So... But let's have a look at them. Okay, so we have another little spriggy thing, um, which is a standalone by the looks of it. And all these little twigs, look at these. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five. So that'll cut out five in one go if you like to layer up and have a bit of foliage. The open ones obviously will cut out um, all of our images that we have here. One to cut out these two little dots if you really want to get really intricate and make red holly berries. Holy cow, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that one for much. Um, and of course our Noel, which will, should die cut. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, it's not going to match because the stamps are actually bigger on the inside. But that will that will die cut them and uh, so you can in, like stamp and die cut or you can just die cut them uh, and have them that way. So that is pretty, pretty cool. I'm actually looking forward to using that one. I don't know why I didn't get them together. I just thought, oh, well, I, you know, I only need one part of it. And, and then, of course, I decided, hmm, maybe I need both of them. So that, let's have a look quick look at some uh, these samples are from the Stampin' Up! website so in this one you can see I think they have gold it looks to me it looks like gold embossing on top of gold foil um, and then been die cut because uh, it's got that gold edge around the Noel and of course the ribbon they have they've colored um, they've colored that ribbon with the blends probably the red real red I would say colored in the image behind it and uh, so that looks pretty 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 and then this one I thought looked really pretty as well so just I've made a gift box and laid up some of that foliage in the background um, and I thought that one looked pretty as well now I have used this one um, oh oops what am I doing wait a minute get rid of you come back to you now I did use this one before I had the Noel one and I think cased the card on the front of the catalog and I did it in two different formats so that one oh, the one on the catalog is a square that's right it was a little square one and I made it bigger into a regular size card and then also made it a portrait one as well so we did that so there we go so there is a really quick look at the bundle in case you were not so sure about the components of it, what they looked like, what colours would go together with it, what extra supplies you may possibly need with it. So um, this one actually went a little bit longer. Normally I try and keep them around 10 minutes so it's not to keep you. Um, but we're going to be looking at this. Everything that I've shown you on my uh, desk today is what we're going to look at for the whole week. So I'm going to do a, a reel with it. We'll go live with it on um, Thursday and I'll try and pop some little things I discover about it on the way as well. Okay, so if you are looking for it and you are in Australia, you can purchase it from my online store and I will be using this for my uh, Creative Card Makers Club tutorial for November. So you have until the end of the month if you would like um, some more information about the Creative Card Makers Club. It's a tutorial, monthly tutorial. Um, demonstrators may teach my cards in person. You are welcome to do that. And we sort of focus around a suite uh, each month. So you have until the end of the month. Um, so I will be doing lots and lots of creating with this. Some of it you may not see well, because club cards remain club cards. They don't come into, only sneak peeks of them come into uh, play. But um, There'll be lots of little bits along the way for you guys as well. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I uh, have to go and see if my washing is nearly finished. <laughs> Fun things to do, right? <laughs> okay, thanks very much and we'll catch you proper live on Thursday um, at about this time, a little in, in like I go live, it's 9.52 for me at the moment. I go live at 10 a.m. on a Thursday. So catch me on Thursday morning around this time. Okay, thanks very much for joining me and we'll catch you later.